Good morning everybody. Robbie and I have come to a farm. Can you see the sheep behind? There are lots in this field. We are having lots of fun exploring. What have you seen so far Robbie? You've seen baby sheep called lambs and you've seen big cows. Most of them are male cows and we've seen blue tractors and we've seen a quad bike and we have seen a stream with a little bridge. Yeah, we're having fun exploring. But this morning we're going to tell you a story about a little lambkin. And this little lambkin, he loved playing and skipping and jumping and bouncing about in the grass. He played all day and he was getting very tired. So he laid in the grass and went to sleep. His mum, who was over there, she was having a lovely time eating all the grass. But when she looked up, she couldn't see him. No, she couldn't. He'd gone. Where? I don't know. She couldn't find him. She looked everywhere. She looked up. She looked down. She went and she called, Meh! Meh! But little lamb didn't answer. Meh! She went again. Other baby lambs came to see. But it wasn't hers. It wasn't lambkin. Oh, what am I going to do? You think she should go and look for him further away? Okay. So, Mummy Sheep went off to look for him. But she couldn't find him anywhere. It was getting late. The clouds were coming over. And the farmer came out with his dog called Bess. Bess found little Lambkin and went up to see him. Lambkin woke up. What was that? Two brown eyes looking at him. And he made a funny noise. Can you hear it? Woof! Woof! Went the dog to the back. baby lamb. His mum came running across and saw where Lambkin was. Lambkin went round and round and round in circles, jumping with delight. Mum came up to him. Come on, time to go back, she said. Let's go and find a nice place to rest for the night. You won't leave me, will you? said little Lambkin. No, of course not. I won't go anywhere. We're going to have more adventures on the farm. I hope you'll be able to join us for another one. But before we go, I hope you can have fun making a sheep of your own. Watch the activity part and see if you can do it with your carer. And then we'll have singing time. Are you ready to say goodbye? Yes, we have to go and explore. Bye! Well, hello! Have you just enjoyed seeing Robbie on the farm? He met some sheep. And he had a story about a little lamb. So Jeanette and I want to show you how to make your own lamb that you can eat. I wonder if you've got a cake there, Jeanette. Like this? That's good. A little cake. Now, Mummy or your carer can get a cake from the shop. Or maybe she's got one that she can make. But if you haven't 
got a cake. What could you use? Hmm. A biscuit? Oh, that's a good idea. One that is round like this one. Now, you are going to need some white icing. Your carer can make it for you or you can buy it in a tube. Then you're going to need some marshmallows. Some white ones and what colour have you got? Pink ones. Why do you need pink? To make a smiley face, of course. Oh, brilliant. What are we going to do for the eyes? Um, buttons. Okay, have you got some chocolate buttons? I think so. Like this. And if you haven't got nice any chocolate, chocolate buttons, perhaps your carer can find some little chocolate chips which you can use. So I'm going to use the chocolate chips and Jeanette's going to use the buttons. Christine, how do we make the marshmallow? Shall we show them? Mm. This is one I made. It's got the icing on and can you see how fluffy the marshmallows make it wool look? And it's little brown eyes and it's pink mouth. What does yours look like? Mine's very much the same, but the difference is the eyes. It's got big brown eyes using the chocolate buttons. You mean like the ones you did on the biscuit? I did. Can you find mine? It's got small eyes. Can I you think see? yours is the mummy sheep, the you. And this is the lamb, um, which is the baby sheep. So this is what you do. Take some icing on a spoon or squeeze it from the tube. Mm. Oh, if it twists round, it's very runny. So you have to watch. Put it in the middle of your cake. Give it a little swivel about. Now I'm going to start with the marshmallows to make mine really fluffy. So I'll take a few and pop them into the icing. But I'm going to do it different because I'm going to start with the eyes using the big buttons. Christine, mm -hmm. how many eyes do I need? Well, you and I have got one, two, and so does she. Does she have two yeah, eyes? So two, please. There we go. So he's now got his two eyes and we want a big smiley face. So I'm going to use the pink marshmallows now and we put one in the middle and then we put another one just to the side and slightly above and one to the other side and slightly above to make his nice big smiley face. Now I'm going to put my little chocolate buttons at the top of my cake so that he looks as if he's peeping out the top. And then I'm going to take some pink marshmallows and I'm going to slide them in between my white ones to give a beautiful smile at the bottom. Don't want him frowning, do we? We want happy sheep. There. You can always add a few more white ones if you think you've got a gap. Now we do the same with the biscuit. So I'm just getting my spoon ready so that I don't clash with Jeanette. I'm just busy putting some more marshmallow to make him really, really woolly. <gasps> Like woolly sheep. What do you think, Auntie Christine? Do you think that looks really, oh, really woolly? Oh, he's lovely. Yeah. Now, can you twist some icing on your biscuit like I'm doing so that we've got a nice sticky middle to put some of our decorations in? And when I do that, 
can you see? It's made a smile for me to put my marshmallows in. Look. That's okay. very clever. So I'm going to put my pink smile on first this time. Oh, Auntie Christine. Mm -hmm. Mine's got a smile on too. Oh, wow. So you can do the same. Yeah. Now I'm going to put my marshmallow. And I'm going to start again with the big chocolate buttons for his eyes. Can you remember how many we needed? I think it was two. It was two. Two big eyes and a big smiley face. We had one in the middle and then we had another one and another one. Oh, I'm so putting that's my three. Eyes. I think I might need a couple more marshmallows. What do you think? Do you oh, think he's coming fluffy? He is getting very fluffy. Now, when you've made your fluffy biscuits and cake, you need to leave it to set so that it holds them while you bite into it. It makes them tasty. Don't lick your fingers while you're doing it. That's not good, otherwise germs from our mouth go onto the biscuit. I'm going to put it there to set. I think he looks a happy little sheep. And I'm going to look forward to eating him later. Is that later as in after the singing time? Oh, of course we're going to sing next. That's brilliant. So, we wash up. Wipe our hands, take our aprons off so that we keep our clothes nice and clean. Then we'll be ready to sing. I wonder where we're going to sing. Perhaps it'll be back on the farm. We might not be. Not in the kitchen. And there's my sheep all ready to join his friends. Have fun with the okay. singing and have fun eating your sheep later. Bye for now. Bye. Shake and shake, shake and stop. Shake and shake, shake and stop. Shake and shake, shake and stop. Then we'll shake some more. Rattle, rattle, rattle and stop. Rattle, rattle, rattle and stop. Rattle, 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 rattle and stop. Then we'll shake some more. Jump, jump, jump and stop. Jump, jump, jump and stop. Jump, jump, jump and stop. Then we'll sing some more. Robbie, where are we? We're on a farm and we've seen lots of sheep. So let's sing. Ba ba black sheep. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Thank you, said the master. Thank you, said the dame. Thank you, said the little boy who lived down the lane. Now, the man who owns this farm is not called Old MacDonald, but we could sing Old MacDonald. And um, let's say thank you for the sheep. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some sheep E-I-E-I-O With a bar bar here and a bar bar there Here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar bar Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O What's that?
don't forget the cows. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm he had some cows. E -I -E -I -O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And there are some chickens. And they go cluck, cluck, cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck cluck here, a cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. We're sitting on a blue tractor and you want to sing the blue tractor song. Okay. Bouncing along on a big blue tractor. Bouncing along on a big blue tractor. Bouncing along on a big blue tractor. Gathering in the hay. And you saw a red tractor. You were right. Bouncing along on a big red tractor, bouncing along on a big red tractor, bouncing along on a big red tractor, gathering in the hay. And perhaps you with your carers can think of another colour tractor to sing with. But we've got a song about a scarecrow. Can you remember it? Let's try. When all the cows are sleeping and the sun has gone to bed, up jumped the scarecrow and this is what he said. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. When all the hens are roosting and the sun is high in the cloud, up jumped the scarecrow and shouted very loud. I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet like that. Oh, Robbie, I think it's time for us to go and have an adventure on the farm. So let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye all. Goodbye all. Goodbye all, we're sorry to see you go. Goodbye all, goodbye all, goodbye all, we're sorry to see you go. Until the next.